Hi everybody, this is your boy, Talzy, and I'm going to do a Nintendo Switch review. I've actually had this for like a month or so, and I haven't um, been able to make any video content on it. Um, I've had this for quite a while now, and I think I can do a review on it. As you can see, you have the two Joy-Cons as well. You have the two, those are controllers for the Nintendo Switch, actually. And um, I've been having a lot of fun with it for so long that I decided to make a video on it. And these actually come out, these come out. Look at that. that you got this as a, as a separate controller. And you got this as well. So you got your two Joy-Cons and they're power up, they're power up and they're supposed to work separately as well or you can put it on a grip controller which is like this as well. So you have so many ways of controlling the Nintendo Switch that um, it's, it's, you got so many options and it's really up to you which is more comfortable to you so you got the grip and they go like that and they go really easily they click in really easily like it's secure not like fragile it's wobbly or anything like that this too it's like that so you sort of got your own controller but it's like it's it's different than any other controller really uh, compared to this which is a more traditional controller something like the Xbox controller and this one, this controller is more traditional, more normal to put to navigate in the menu or to play any um, type of games, and it's more preferable. And this is more motion controlled. It also has an IR port as well, so infrared report, infrared port, and that's compatible. For for certain games, motion type games. So it's sort of like having your remote, but this is just two separate um, Joy-Cons. And you got this as well. So that has, that's how it looks like. It really is compact, it's really small, and it's portable. And it lasts, on average, the battery lasts about three to six hours depending on what game you're playing. If you're playing Zelda The Breath of the Wild, that will kill your battery a lot because the graphics are open world. And you also see the GPU, you've got the heat sink right there. So you, there's a bit of a heat, there's quite a bit of heat comes out of it and gets hot. And you also have the vents on the bottom, on the bottom over here, the heat vents, and that's where the heat comes out. Quite a, a quite a it's a quite powerful portable system for this size so you need some sort of heat coming out so um, also with this you've got let me just show you that you've got your headphone jack and that's where the game card goes as well so it sort of comes out like this now that's where the game card goes and oh, there's a volume rocker and the and the power button is there and um, and there and that support in the middle that's a USB-C port so that's where you charge your system or um, play it off it and there's also a stand so you got a stand stand for the system as well it comes out like that and clicks too it's a bit fragile the built-in stand for this system because it's kind of cheap it's cheap and it just it really looks flimsy don't know why they made it like this way but the way it is because if you put it like this on a soft bed it will just fall like that it's stupid that's why <laughs> also behind the stand is a micro SD slot so you can expand the memory of the system because in standard the memory the internal storage is this 32 gigabytes of storage 
So when you put a micro SD, because there are certain types of micro SDs where there are Pro and there are XD, they're called XD as well, it's for super fast speeds ones. There are different sort of formats for those kind of cards. So if you get what the toppest class 10 um, card, you will, um, when you insert it and when you boot up the system, it will have a system update. So it will make you update the system so you can play it off and it will recognize the card because it's a different format card for those high speed ones. If you're going towards that, which I do, and I've got a 128 gig one, so it's like that. I'll just show you that. That's a micro. That's how small it is. Um, it's 128 gigabyte. It's from Samsung, actually, because I was doing a bit of research, and I came to a conclusion that Samsung was the best, better than SanDisk. So the screen is a 720p high definition screen and the pixel per inch is about 200, around 200 or more. And um, the, the screen is quite good. Um, it's good quality screen. I don't have much of a problem with it, to be honest. It's pretty good for what it is, for what you get as well. I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, it's compared to the high, to my cell phone. I have like 1080p or QHD plus screens and they're like a lot of resolution and pixels per inch is a lot more precise and more clearer and more sharper so compared to that to this you're gonna get a huge difference and plus the phone is about upwards about 900 to a thousand in Australia of course in dollars and um, it's pretty expensive and compared to this it's about 300 to 400 bucks depending on the package or if you get it online which is 300 or something about that you you'll get a deal uh, you'll, you'll get a bit good discount on it so comparing to that and to just compare this by itself with screen it's quite sharp and it's pretty clear for just for 720p screen and the LCD screen is quite bright um, you can see in all angles, so it's not very, it's not a dim, um, cheap screen. Um, it's what I think, and what I've um, looked so far is the colors are bright, um, the quality is great, especially for high definition games. Playing HD games on Nintendo system is so weird because I'm used to playing the Nintendo 3DS, and these games are on high def. So you see a lot of special effects, the graphics are really bright, really good. Um, the special effects are amazing on it as well. And you get all these graphical improvements that you usually see in a PS4 or a Xbox One. But the graphics are not, they're, they're a huge difference. <laughs> um, but they are similar because they're playing in the high definition sort of um, play field so it's good to see that Nintendo have went to that degree to have those games playing on high def and it's amazing to see these games in that kind of quality and it's pleasing to the eyes and the games that they've released so far are in good uh, in trend towards to what other games in other systems have been releasing and um, they're following it and they're also following their own Nintendo policies and rules and their own regulations on how they make their games and when you play Nintendo games you know you're playing Nintendo game compared to anyone because these games are unique and specially designed for this and you can't play it anywhere else, especially on PC. So that's what it is. And being protective, being protective as I am, I have a case for it. And of course, it's Zelda um, Breath of Wild case. Um, there's a case that I got from EB Games, and um, 
it's specially themed for the game. So you, when you get the zipper, it has that nice cool design to it. And when you play the game, it sort of looks like the Sheikah slate. Um, <laughs> and um, has the same sort of design on it too. So that's what it is in the back as well. Z on there with the Master Sword in the middle. And you see Link with his arrows and his bow. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And that that bow is that arrow is actually quite powerful in the game. And there you have. And you also have compartments as well for your games, so little pockets. So I've got like four games already. And these four games are the top, top, top games. And I'll talk about that later in the video. And what you get is a little pouch, it's a pouch to carry your switch. And you also get cleaning cloth for, for your screen, so you can clean the LCD screen actually. And it's pretty cool I've included that. And by the way, this is actually metal. I think this is metal because it was cut. It was cool to the touch. Um, so it's, and it's really, really good quality. I don't see any cheapness with this and what they did was great and it's officially licensed Nintendo accessories so I don't I don't expect any less from them <laughs> and with the Nintendo Switch when you get this there's the dock that you put the Nintendo Switch and you can play this on your TV as well and um, towards that you thought probably it's just a um, handheld sort of device you can't play on the TV or anything but no you can you can play this on the TV, you just dock it in, you just put it, so you just put this, you just put the switch in there. Actually, I'll put it upside down. So, put like that. And that's how it goes. And it basically instantly gets into your TV. So you don't have any like, any issues like, or any settings you have to mess around with. You just connect this with the TV and you have a HDMI cable going there. HDMI and a... Wait, let me... So if you see that, there's a HDMI on the bottom. HDMI out and a USB. That's for USB devices and so forth. So <laughs> the charging is the AC adapter. The USB is for connecting USB devices which they haven't included anything on it. I, I haven't, at the moment, I can't connect any USB devices to my system. So probably in a future, most likely in a future system update, they'll, they'll have um, USBs, USB flash drives you can connect to, so you can have more storage, um, connect it to your external hard drive, things like that, so you can extend the memory. And the storage, they extend the storage, not the memory. So that's what it is. And when I initially got this, I thought I would never play as much as I would compared to PlayStation 4 system. Because PlayStation 4 is more towards the hardcore gamers for uh, first person shooters, um, adventure RPGs. Um, action adventure games, racing games, um, things like that. And these kind of these these kind of system. This is towards Mario, um, Mario type of games, Zelda games, Metroid, and all those types. And don't get me wrong, all those games are freaking brilliant. Even Mario games. Um, I was, there was a time where I was out of Nintendo and I just wanted to get the grown up systems. And then it came to a point in my life that I was like, let's try Nintendo. I miss Nintendo. I miss their games. I mean, all the and what I've been hearing so far, their games are magnificent. It's just, it's not about the graphics. It's about the gameplay and it's fun. I've been playing on this for a very long time compared to any um, hardcore system, like a PS4 system or a PC or anything, because this, Nintendo is just, you know, they focus on fun compared to graphics. And what they've done is made a competent system um, that is fit towards P4 
people who just want to have fun compared to a heavy system that's like full of graphics, um, hardcore, uh, GPU and a CPU that pumps out so much um, specs of it and the graphics just like blows you out of the water and that system would be damn expensive. Something like the new Xbox, um, which they have Xbox One X, which is freaking amazing, that's what I've heard, and the PS4 Pro. Well, this is for family type of people, um, and kids as well. But it came to a point now that I feel like anyone can play this. You don't need to give this to a kid, anyone can have fun with it. Get a um, a premium tempered glass screen protector just to protect the screen of the, of the Nintendo Switch and the the protect the, the the glass on here is a oleific coating on it so it's it's smooth to the touch when you touch it and um, if you drop any liquid on the screen it will just slip off so it has that coating where it slips off quite um, quite easily and you can clean anything off it pretty quickly and you don't you don't you wouldn't get any stains don't know why you'll get don't know why you spill stuff on it you gotta be pretty careless <laughs> with this kind of devices because I put it in top condition and I don't eat in front of a handheld device especially like this and so I, I I recommend this this is from Spigen and it's a tempered glass you get two you get two sheets of glasses and it's quite thin as well so you can't really tell that I'll put the um, tempered glass on there but now you got like my <laughs> fingerprints on there so you see that and overall what I think about it um, this is a great system um, just because I have went through it I mean this a lot of potential and this is the first year where they did release it so there's a lot of growth to be had for Nintendo Switch and um, with the games the lineup it's just the start of what's going to come and um, I recommend for anyone that is looking for a system um, towards something that they want to play with or spend their time with or trying to get what's the new next thing out there because this is selling quite good compared to um, uh, Nintendo Wii U and the Wii U was a colossal failure compared to this and this is selling quite good um, really good I mean a lot of people have this now and um, at the end of the day if you guys are looking for this if you guys are looking for going back to Nintendo please do <laughs> um, I, I've recommended to people who are looking for a system who are looking to play Zelda or Mario games or even like any other games I mean um, they're also going multi-platform as well and they've got really good exclusives that are coming out very soon and don't be afraid to go back to Nintendo and have some fun with it because Nintendo is it's all about fun and I don't have any flaws or any yeah, problems with these yeah could I have like a 1080p screen um, could like have full HD 4k graphics this and that but then you got like an overpriced machine and then the problem of overheating in this kind of device and the seamless interactivity where you put this in the dock and connect it to your TV it's just instantaneous there's no issues involved and all your games run with the TV and even though it's touchscreen in that you can also play with your Joy-Cons so you can have these together and you can play with it without even having the grip or without even having the pro controller those are just options and this is all you need to have and you can get used to it even though they're quite small buttons as well and you have your little trigger there as well but you get fairly used to it I mean like you, so you got your options right like your pro controller they're pretty big they have bigger buttons like that and that and you got your, your thumbsticks there and then you got your directional pad and 
the start button and so forth the home button and everything so you got that and that's an option and this works really 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 good um and there's a splatoon 2 limited edition actually so is a special one um normally you would get just a whole black one but this year got the um different grips on there last but not least i'm having so much fun with Nintendo switch um the games and the amount of it at, at currently it's not too much but you're getting the only good games out actually you got arms you got zelda breath of the wild mario kart 8 um, deluxe edition which is the best one compared to the nintendo wii u one and you also got splatoon 2 it's one of the best third person shooter games out there right now and i'm having so much fun with it because all you do, it's like a paintball game you just splat people with so much weapons varieties and all that and i will make a separate video of uh, my top um, games that i currently have um a great system pick it up if you're looking for a portable um console hybrid um this will fit your needs so that's it i'm gonna have a play with this so see you in the next one peace have a good one